Greetings students and welcome back to another video on partial differential equations. In this video we're going to derive the general solution of the wave equation, but using an easier method that's based on making a change of variables. Let's start by rewriting the wave equation up here just for our reference. Now what we're going to do is define two new coordinates. The first coordinate I'll call r, and the second coordinate I'll call s. r is just going to be x plus ct, while s is going to be x minus ct. What I'll be doing here is converting our partial derivatives in t and x to partial derivatives in r and s. And then we'll solve the resulting equation in r and s. So let's begin. We can use the chain rule to re-express the partial derivative of u with respect to x in terms of the partial derivatives of u with respect to r and s like so. We can also do the same for the partial of u with respect to t. Now let's use the definitions of r and s to plug in expressions for their partial derivatives with respect to both x and t. When we do that, here's what we'll get. The derivative of u with respect to x equals the partial of u with respect to r plus the partial of u with respect to x. And the derivative of u with respect to t equals c times the partial of u with respect to r minus c times the partial of u with respect to s. We can't just stop here though because we only have the first partial derivative so far. We need to go further and compute the second partial derivatives as well, since those are the ones that appear in the wave equation after all. So let's apply the chain rule again to find the second partial derivatives. Keep in mind that du dr and du ds are still both functions of r and s, so we have to differentiate both with respect to r and s. Let's start with finding the second partial of u with respect to x. And we'll end up with the second partial of u with respect to r times the partial of r with respect to x plus the mixed partial of u with respect to r and then s times the partial of s with respect to x plus the mixed partial of u with respect to s then r times the partial of r with respect to x plus the second partial of u with respect to s times the partial of s with respect to x. Again, the partial of r with respect to x and the partial of s with respect to x are both 1. And since the mixed partial derivatives are both equal by Clairaut's theorem, here's what we'll get for the second partial of u with respect to x. Now let's apply the same chain rule to find the second partial of u with respect to t. Again, Partial r partial t and partial s partial t are c and negative c respectively. So once we plug that in, here's what we'll end up with. c squared times the second partial of u with respect to r minus c squared times the mixed partial of u with respect to r then s minus c squared times the mixed partial of u with respect to s then r plus c squared times the second partial of u with respect to s. Now we can combine the mixed partial derivatives again by Clairaut's theorem. And after simplifying this expression, here's what we end up with for the second partial of u with respect to t. Now we can plug in this expression for the second partial of u with respect to t and this expression for the second partial of u with respect to x back into the wave equation. And when we plug them back into the wave equation, we end up with the following PDE in terms of the new transformed variables. We can cancel out the second partials with respect to r and s from both sides. And after moving this mixed partial to the right hand side, we end up with a differential equation in terms of only the mixed partial derivative. The 4c squared is just a non-zero constant for the non-trivial case and we can cancel that out. So we'll have the mixed partial of u with respect to the transformed variables r and s equal to zero. Now this equation is much more simple to solve and we're going to start solving it now. So let's integrate both sides of this expression with respect to r first. When we integrate with respect to r, then we get du ds on the left because we've integrated the r out, and we'll get a constant on the right that I'll call h because the integral of zero is just a constant. But this h isn't just any constant, it's a constant function in the variable r. So in general, we could say that h is a pure function of s. Why is that? Well, because if we go backwards and differentiate with respect to r, the partial derivative with respect to r of a pure function of s will just be zero. Remember, when we take partial derivatives with respect to one variable, we assume that all other variables are held constant. 
Now let's integrate this expression with respect to s and finally end up with our general solution for u. When we integrate h of s, we end up with its antiderivative that I'm going to just call g. We'll also have a constant of integration, but instead of just being a constant number, we'll have a constant function, f of r. And finally, we'll replace the r and the s by x and t using these definitions of r and s to get the general solution u of the wave equation as a function of x and t, which is just going to be f of x plus ct plus g of x minus ct. And this, by the way, agrees with the general solution we found in the previous video, where I used the transport equation method. So this method works as well, but it's a lot easier because it involves a very simple change of variables. Anyway, that concludes the lecture. We've successfully derived the general solution of the wave equation using a simple change of variables. In the next video, we'll discuss the d'Alembert solution of the wave equation, which is going to involve solving an initial value problem. Now before I end, I'd like to thank my patrons Jennifer Heffman and Jacob Soares for donating at the $10 level and $5 level respectively. If you're interested in becoming a patron for my channel, I put a link to my Patreon page in the description and you can support me there if you wish. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. This is the Faculty of Khan, signing out.